But Kratos had no need for the love of petty gods. He had found a new family in the warriors of Sparta, gaining solace from his past and calling to battle. My lord, Kratos! Another city is ready to fall! Soon all shall know the glory of Sparta! Enough, Kratos! With every city you destroy, the wrath of Olympus grows. Soon I will no longer be able to protect you. I need no protection. Do not forget that it was I who made you a god, Ghost of Sparta. Do not turn your back on me. I owe you nothing. Then you leave me no choice. Kratos had turned the pain of his memories into hatred. Hatred for the gods who had refused to free him from the nightmares of his past deeds. And so he went to Rhodes to deliver the final blow to the besieged city. I can take down this beast! I offer you more than help, Kratos. I offer you power. I offer you the Blade of Olympus. It was this blade that ended the Great War and defeated the Titans. Drain your godly powers into the sword, Kratos. Only then will you reach your full potential. Why do you aid me now? Do you see, gods of Olympus? Do you need more proof than this? Placing all of his godly power into the weapon had rendered Kratos mortal, vulnerable to the arms of death. Bloodied and beaten, he knew that to have any hope of survival, he must retrieve the Blade of Olympus. Humiliated before his Spartan army, Kratos dragged himself up from the dirt.
Yes, I am forced to attend to this matter myself. Athena refused to undo her mistake. Imagine caring for a creature such as yourself. Why? Why would you betray me? It is you who would betray me. Am I to stand idly by while Olympus is threatened? Your hands are already stained by the blood of a god. I will not let Ares' fate be my own. The gods are petty and pathetic, and your rule is weak. I grow tired of this insolence. I am the king of Olympus. And it is my way that is the way of the gods. You must vow to forever serve me. I serve no one. Then you'll leave me no choice. It did not have to be this way, my son. This path is of your choosing. <gasps> A choice from the gods is as useless as the gods themselves. Even now, as you draw your last breath, you continue to defy me! Everything you have ever known, Kratos, will now suffer because of your sacrilege. You will never be the ruler of Olympus. The cycle ends here. As the life drained out of Kratos, the arms of Hades reached out to claim their prize. But there was more resting on Kratos' shoulders than he could know. Kratos was destined to bring about change so severe that it would shake the very pillars of Mount Olympus. His death was something that I could not allow. Ares! Destroy my enemies and my life is yours! This is not the end. Who are you? I am the Titan Gaia, ever-present mother of Earth. I have watched you become a powerful warrior, and I have been with you through all the events of your life. But I can no longer simply watch. We will help you defeat Zeus. Death is an escape, Kratos. You are a warrior of Sparta, not a coward. Only a coward accepts death. I am no coward. Then you must fight. I will show you the way to the Sisters of Fate. Only with their power will you defeat Zeus. Turn back to Olympus, beast! I must face Zeus! 
you defy the god of war? You are no longer a god, Kratos. Zeus, Olympus, and the blade which holds all your power will forevermore be out of reach. Your only hope is to find the sisters of fate and travel back through time to the moment Zeus betrayed you. For only then will he truly be vulnerable. God of war, you live. I no longer walk with the gods. Who has placed you in this torment? Zeus. My only crime was helping mankind. When I took the fires of Olympus to the mortals, Zeus considered it a betrayal. As punishment, he made me mortal and condemned me to be savagely consumed every day by this cursed bird. And then, with the fall of night, I am healed. How long have I been here? How long have I suffered this curse? I truly do not know. Please, Ghost of Sparta, release me from my torment! You have freed Prometheus from the torment of the gods. His flesh has tainted the fires of Olympus and embodied it with the power of the Titans. These ashes will give you great strength, Kratos. Take them within you and use this strength to defeat your enemies. Kratos, behold the island of creation, home to the sisters of fate. Here, the path to your true destiny begins. The island is fraught with danger. It was created to prevent all from reaching the three sisters of fate. The power of the sisters will allow you to return to that moment when Zeus betrayed and killed you, Kratos, thus changing your fate and the fate of others. Why do you aid me, Gaia? Zeus must be stopped, Kratos. The story of revenge has been told before. You know of the mighty titan Kronos. So fearful was Kronos of the Oracle's prediction that his own children would rise against him, that he decided to imprison them all in his belly. Rhea stood by and watched as her children were devoured one by one. But when the time came for the last of her children to be eaten, she was unable to bear another such loss and devised a trick to save the baby Zeus. Rhea commanded the eagle to secret her son away. He was taken to an island far beyond the watchful eyes of Kronos.
was I who cared for him. It was I who kept him safe. I nurtured his desire to free his brothers and sisters from Kronos. But my foolish act of compassion would haunt the Titans forever. For in sparing Zeus, we allowed him to return to us with vengeance in his heart. He betrayed all of the Titans for the sins of just one. The sins of his father, Kronos. of Sparta, then what they say is true. Theseus, of all the fools who try, you would be the last I would expect to seek an audience with the Sisters of Fate. And you are the last one I would expect to become a servant of the Fates. I serve and protect the Sisters of Fate for the glory of Zeus. The time of Zeus is coming to an end. Hmm. You seek the sisters to kill Zeus. <laughs> you no longer possess the powers of a god, Kratos. I doubt you're capable of killing me, <laughs> let alone the king of Olympus. Let me pass, and I will let you live, old man. I do not think that is your choice to make. Come forward. Let us finally see who is the greatest warrior in all of Greece. Together, warrior. Before my fall in the great war with the gods, I hid away the last remnants of my magic. For the good of the Titans, I, Thomas, now bestow what is left upon you. Use it well. Fallen God, none defy what the fates decree. 
That is how it must be. Only death awaits you at the end of your journey. My death is what began this journey. The fates have not deemed victory for you. Your soul will never find peace for what you have become. I am what the gods have made me! Hidden deep within the spire lie the sisters. They control the threads of fate. Gain control of your thread, and you will be able to return to the moment when Zeus betrayed you. Escape! I have faced test after test in search of the sisters. And now you have dashed it all away! You certainly do not live up to your reputation, Ghost of Sparta. But perhaps this is a test. Are you watching me now, sisters? Give me a sign! Am I? The great Perseus to kill this fallen god to receive an audience with you? Will that allow me to bring my love back from the grasp of Hades himself? If not, at least I can bathe in the glory of being the one who brought down the mighty Kratos, the slayer of gods. Although I hardly think a harpy's fool such as yourself deserves such praise.
We have been expecting you, Ghost of Sparta. The gods are far too powerful for us to defeat now. All on Olympus tremble at my name. Zeus is weak. Ares and Athena are dead and I wield the blade. We can win the great war, but not in this time. Together, we will destroy the petty gods and we will see Olympus crumble before us. Come with me, Gaia. Return to my time. Victory awaits. We have faced far worse than this one fallen mortal. But we are the gods. We whom the mortals worship. We who rule over this land. We who will not be swept aside by this petulant fool. Brothers, put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite. We will stand together, and I will wipe out this plague! Olympus will prevail! have already deemed me victorious. No, Kratos! Stop! Athena! No! Why do you sacrifice yourself? To save Olympus. I do not seek to destroy Olympus. Only Zeus. Zeus is Olympus. <laughs> he brought this to himself. Because of fear, Kratos. A fear felt by his father, Kronos. A fear that wrought the Great War. A fear that drove Zeus to kill you. His own son. His son? Just as Zeus was compelled to destroy his father, Kronos. You are compelled to do the same. No son should destroy his own father. No. I have no father. God after God will deny you, Kratos. They will protect Zeus. Zeus must live so that Olympus will prevail. If all on Olympus will deny me my vengeance, then all on Olympus will die. I have lived in the shadow of the gods for long enough. The time of the gods has come to an end. Remember, Kratos, you have the power to control time itself. The 
Even now, as you draw your last breath, you continue to defy me? No matter. <laughs> What? How can this be? The Sisters of Fate have aided you. Unexpected. The Sisters are dead. Hmm. I underestimated you. A mistake I do not intend to repeat. was never meant for a mortal like you! This is the power of the fates, Kratos! No one can change their true destiny! <laughs> Defy fate, Kratos! For we have woven the events of your life. And now, that life is at an end. <laughs> We control your destiny, foolish mortal! With a whim, we can end your life! <laughs> or allow you to live. Search your memory, Kratos. The sword which you stand on delivered your victory against Ares. Without it, you will be the one who dies this day, not Ares! We can change your past and set your future! This is the power of the fates! <laughs> Of my way. Your resolve is admirable, even if it is misguided. None can change their destiny, Kratos. We sisters determine the fate of all. 
It was I who deemed that the Titans lose the Great War. And I who have allowed you to come this far. It is not your destiny to kill Zeus. You no longer control my destiny. I see Gaia has filled you with her lies. I have warned you. Let me pass. <laughs> you have always amused us, Kratos. But know this, mortal. There is no power greater than the Sisters of Fate. If you challenge us, you will die. Go on. There is much at stake here. I cannot defeat the gods. Victory favors you, Kratos. But you must grab hold of your destiny and command it. There is a war on the horizon and we need you to lead us into battle. To what end? The death of Zeus. If you relent, Zeus will torment you still. He will not rest knowing you live. And when you die, his brother Hades will see that your soul is tortured for all eternity. You will have no rest until you destroy him. Take within you this fire that burned your beloved Sparta. Let it fuel your rage and hasten your steps towards destiny. The time to act is upon us, Kratos. This battle is just the beginning of a great war that is to come. You? My lord? I told you to return to Sparta! Why do you leave Sparta unprotected? Sparta... is no more. What treachery is this? Zeus... He came under the Cloak of Darkness into Sparta. They begged for their god to save them. But you did not come.
left with no choice. I had to seek out the sisters to change the fate of our beloved Sparta. For I am all that is left. <coughs> You are all that is left. I have faith that our brothers of Sparta will live on through the true God of War. <coughs> Zeus! Is this how you face me, coward? I am through doing the bidding of the gods! Come down here and face me now, Zeus! Kratos, like the fiery phoenix who is resurrected from his ashes, you too search for a second chance at life. Find these ashes and free the phoenix. Only then will you find the path to the Temple of the Face. Well done, warrior. With this sacrifice, you have proven your resolve to seek out the sisters of fate. However, this is but a small step in your quest to gain an audience with us. What Gaia says is true, Ghost of Sparta. 
You are a powerful warrior and a worthy ally of the Titan. Then tell me how to find the Temple of the Sisters of Fate! None, not even the Titan, know how to reach the Sisters' Temple. But it is said he who finds it will wield great power. I have given you the last of my magic, Spartan, and I will help you across the great chasm. But that is all I can offer. Fate grant you passage, Kratos, for many rely on your success. <laughs> Kratos, still the arrogant and foolish warrior. You have not changed. Hmm. And how do you plan to defeat the king of the gods? By taking the blade of Olympus back and driving it into Zeus's heart! It holds the power I once wielded as the god of war! The Blade of Olympus? I have not heard that name in many years. Since... Since the end of the Great War. Bloodlust and power raged within Zeus. His desire to rule over mortals was intolerable to us. The war between the Titans and the Olympians forged the landscape of the mortal world. It was a war that we knew the Titans must win. If we lost, it would mean an end to the golden age of the Titan rule. Peace and prosperity for mankind would be no more. The battle continued despite my capture. Then Zeus created a powerful weapon to end the Great War. A weapon forged from the heavens and the earth. The Blade of Olympus. I banish you to the darkest pits of Tartarus! in the torment of the underworld, banished to the darkest pits of Hades. I would have destroyed Zeus if you had not put me here, slave of the gods. I no longer do the bidding of the gods, Atlas. I have stomached their betrayal for the last time. Show me the way to the sisters and I will kill Zeus once and for all. Who breaks my chains of torment? You are strong, but you are far too small, even for an Olympian, to be a god. 
It is my test! Do you not know who I am? Have you not heard of Icarus? It is my fate to make it across! None other! This is my test! The sisters will grant me an audience, not you. You will die, White Warrior! You will die! I will reach the sisters of fate, and I will use your wings to do so. The sisters will not allow you, a fallen god, to bathe in their light! E3 is a big opportunity for media to get a glimpse into what's going on with the various software as well as hardware. It's kind of an opportunity for developers to kind of show off. It's bigger than Oscar night. I mean, it's huge. It's a chance where you, you get all these, you get all developers, you get all studios, you get all the, the gaming consoles like PlayStation, Xbox, everyone's going to be there. It's, it's hyped up, everyone's psyched up. There's, everyone's just a fan of games. We are about to go into our E3 meeting, sort of a pre-E3 update meeting to kind of get a status check from all the key leads uh, of where we're at on the entire game. And this is actually going to be my first playthrough of the E3 build all put together. And hope everything goes fantastic because we don't have that much time. After I hit yes or no on the progressive scan, what's the next image that comes up? Front end. Making demos for E3, it's, it's kind of one of those necessary evils. And it's something that we decided we would embrace when we were working on God of War. We decided, you know, man, it sucks doing this, but, you know, let's just make the best of it because, you know, if we're ever going to make this game successful, then, uh, you know, making the press uh, notice it at E3 uh, would be very important. We start Corey, go first. So this begins this where? This is the beginning, right there. E3 is important to God of War 2 because this is our opportunity to get the franchise out we're kind of taking the training wheels off here and giving other people the controller and saying, you know, you play it the way you want to play it. We're going to have to gauge the reaction from that. What, why did that guy just disappear? Is this not working? They didn't do anything. I don't know if this is all the latest stuff because I'm seeing older animations. That has to get worked out. What about the art on this area? I thought it was... It's done. Yeah. Those little landing pads are missing. Could we like check this stuff before we have a meeting like this? Uh, it's Corey, we, more were, we were doing our best to do that. I'm not saying you're not doing your best, I'm just saying, like, would it be more advantageous? There feels like a lot of stuff like We, we would, we wouldn't be having this discussion until 7 o'clock tonight. If that's what it's gonna be, then it's what it's gonna be, right? Um, no. So, I don't know, maybe if there's a lighting thing to do to kind of call attention to it a little bit more. I really want people to walk away from this going, I really didn't think that they could make a game better than the first one. We're just gonna trigger the Medusa to jump you at this point. Right out at you, like, she's big enough that she essentially almost fills the, the front screen and she just, ah, right there and attacks you. Could she pop out? Well, could you, hold on. Could from she... this angle, I don't wanna swap angles. It'd probably be much lower, to be more dramatic, but I wanna stay in the hallway. I don't wanna pop to other angles. I, no, I understand that. Player's here, she jumps out, scares him, knocks him, boom, and the camera keeps tracking towards the Medusa, so you get close up into her face and, and then cut. That's a CS move. Can you do that? 
It's not a trivial matter. It's, it's no longer simple. It's, not, it's a non-trivial matter. <laughs> it, was, it was a simple setup before, and it won't be quickly back. Right. It's really easy to go through a production and go, you know, okay, this is sort of working all the way. I'll get the last 10%, you know, when we start heading down. The problem with that kind of mentality is always that 10% turns into 50, 60, yep. 70%, because it's like, oh, well, what I thought was going to work didn't. Now I'm back to the drawing board. E3 allows us that opportunity to just go, we're going to get it all done, and it's got to be done all the way. And it kind of is a little wake-up call for a lot of people. I think that's great. Well, Pegasus animation, just so the Pegasus himself feel like we're still in first pass yeah. with not a lot of stuff in there, and I thought we were going to be much further along. This is the new God of War 2. This is going to be our signature piece. Steve is the guy that has to basically jump in the middle of the firefight and calmly figure out how it's all going to get figured out. Bullets whizzing by all over the place, and he's got to figure out what's going to go on here. And, you know, I'm over there with like a Gatling gun just firing bullets all over the place, throwing grenades at him. You know, hey, we should change this. Let's put this over here. What if we had rain in this scene? This would be awesome. But just going up in his head, schedule's ballooning out of control, and I'm just, you know, like a kid who's found his dad's gun firing it all over the place. He's not sitting around waiting for this problem to get solved on his own. There's a lot of animation work to be done. For whatever it's worth, it seemed like we've been talking a lot about, like, art and, and some animation stuff, but it seems like when we go through the level, there's no enemies in there. It's this, uh, there's, there's a no lot chefs. of design work there's, that has to go through. Pegasus is like almost like completely undesigned at this point. I, I just, um, I totally disagree with that statement. You guys need to sit down <laughs> and play Pegasus. Like, I played every day at Ray's desk. I mean, it's not, right. it doesn't feel like, I, I'm, not, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to start or anything. I'm just saying like, we've been talking a lot about the art. I just well, felt like the artists are here and from a Pegasus standpoint, I had said, I need to sit down with Chip and Aaron. The purpose of this meeting is just to talk about the things that we can do, and that's the, then I basically have no place in saying that, I guess. Six come from a really good place, man. He's a guy that I feel truly leads by example. You know, this guy shows you that it can be done by doing it himself, by really instilling that sense of pride within your own work, by showing that he has that sense of pride in the work. I'm not trying to start like yes, you are, but it's a good <laughs> that you're starting. This isn't a dig on you, so don't think I'm attacking I'm you. But you suck. <laughs> no, but seriously, we do have to. We gotta step it up. That's it. Excellent. There are numerous red flags. There's a ton of stuff that really needs a lot of work. Stitching the level together still really isn't there. It's kind of duct tape together. Not even duct. It's scotch tape. It's scotch tape together right now. It's not even that much. Uh, we've got a lot of art issues. A uh, ton of animations that have to get done. So we're going to have a lot of fun trying to figure that one out. Def it was a good thing to kind of get a status check for everybody, but uh, we have a load of work to do. That's a possibility. It was also mentioned that the projectiles that fire from Pegasus seem to be coming from the Pegasus's Pegasus is kind of an interesting situation that we got into because it's kind of like developing a new game. Every step of the way, you know, you get one thing fixed and then you find something else that you didn't know about. So it's, it's not like you can set it, say it was broken, but it's a new feature that you need and it's still happening right now. Pegasus is a different game. Might as well be called Pegasus. It doesn't look like this year we are making it with Pegasus and it sucks for all of us, but we all kind of feel the exact same way, which is we don't want anybody to see it until we all feel 100% about it. So that's the sort of the double-edged sword of E3 is, you know, you can chase the demo, trying to get it out there, trying to show people what you got, but if it's crap, you're gonna pay the price. I was running the Pegasus push to E3, and to see that not make it was like getting kicked in the balls by a donkey, very hard. I think in the end we'll be all right, but I think right now there's still a lot to figure out with Pegasus. They're not moving up. Whoa, come on, Fix happen. those weapons! Right now you can tell everybody's stressed out, so you don't want to talk to anybody. Um, you just kind of, if you stick around our little vis dev area, you'll be safe. So we're pretty relaxed. Hopefully this will only be seen after the game comes out. So. We have to kind of get everything out before everybody builds it, so we've had our share. So now it's their turn. Just 
can't go home until he goes home. I'm sleeping here tonight, man. There's no hope for you. It's all over. There you have it. I'm sleeping here tonight. And that hole that is created, it feels like if we made it more extreme, like it's actual crack cracks right here on one frame. We got so much done in this last month. We lost a few years off of our life due to sleep deprivation, but you know, we got a lot done. They get to a point where they're just like, I don't know, should I attack? I don't know. Over here, they just, they just want to love. So yeah, I don't, I don't have any idea why he's just decided now that attacking is not in his best interest. It's incredibly daunting knowing that the entire team is pushing themselves really hard and everybody's, you know, staying late, putting in lots of overtime and really putting everything they have into this demo. It's a much more tense environment than it normally is. I mean, everyone's really under the gun. A lot of pressure, a lot of tired people. It's not rocket science. No one dies as a result of doing it, but it's a pretty stressful uh, job nonetheless. Lots of very passionate people working on the project, and that can lead to some uh, some arguments and, uh, and stress. And there's definitely a few evenings you go home and you just want to go and punch something. The stress level gets high enough that I just try to mentally just stop myself from caring and just ro sort of robotically go about it. And no matter what somebody says to me, it's just like, okay, they don't mean that. I'm just going to keep moving. There's a lot of freaking out and then just kind of stepping back and just reminding yourself that, you know, <laughs> it's a video game. Who controls the camera tween? Does anybody? Is it automatic? How's that work? The product is ours. We have the right to beat the living crap out of it. We have the right to be picky and, and brutal and evaluate it from the, you know, this is this is the worst I've ever seen. I mean, we have the right, we're creating that. We have the right to say that. And I find that if we don't take that approach or if someone doesn't take that approach, when we release the product, everyone else in the world will. There's a smoothness to where the animation needs to be and it's not there. And it's not about you're not doing your job. It's about the product isn't where it needs to be. What do we need to do to get the product there? That's always been my philosophy. I gotta say, the ending is low budget. It's truly a live or die situation, you know. I want to make a great game and I want to make a great experience, but if I don't, it's probably it for me. <laughs> I hope not, but most likely it is.